Okay, in this video, we want to convert a GLB file that we got from Sketchfab of this auto and animate it. And uh, we will show you how. This is just a little demonstration of uh, before and after, you could say. Um, anyway, let's go ahead and end this little intro and get started on our project here. First thing you want to do is open up Blender. Get rid of that. Let's get that off for now. Let's go ahead and change our timeline to 720. 720, that'll give us 30 seconds of animation. 720, enter. Grab that little nodule there, pull it over. Now we can see our whole timeline. Okay, let's go ahead and go up to File. Yep, File right up there. If we want to get our GLB file that we downloaded from Sketchfab. There'll be a link down below how to get that. There it is. Import it. Right, let's go up to our our viewpoint shadowing and go there. Let's go ahead and click on Z in our little gizmo. Okay, I want to center this so when we do ultimately get it to our 3D file, we can actually rotate it from the center. Let's bring it down to the center. Okay, it's in the center. And let's go back to Z. All right, let's hit N, N on the keyboard to bring that out. And all these wheels have to be XYZ Uller, XYZ Uller, every one of them. Every last man jack has to be XYZ Uller. Okay. All right, we got that. Let's go to our first one. I just want to hit R for rotate, not D, R for rotate, and X for X axis. And I just want to move it because both of those wheels are the same on each side. So I want them to look different when it's rotating. Okay, let's go back. Go back to our wheel. We'll go R, X, enter a zero. And the beginning, we'll go ahead and key it in rotation. Do the same here, except it'll be R X minus two eight eight zero. Enter and let's go ahead and I on the keyboard key it to rotation. Raise that up a little bit. Go over here to that. Whoop. Go over there to that. Go to the timeline. It just hit end to get rid of that end little view. Now we got to find our. Oh, there it is. Okay, we want to right click that. We want to go to interpolation mode. Interpolation mode. Go linear. Let's go back to our timeline. Okay. Let's just play it. Yeah, it looks good. Looks good. I think what I'm going to do is pause it and do the other three wheels and uh, I'll be right back okay I'm back uh, let's test it out rotate it around a bit all right looking good all of our wheels are wheeling okay let's go to Y let's expand that stop it go back to frame one and let us select the fan blade, make that Uller. I guess that goes to the generator. Not even sure that's right. Make that Uller. And a crankcase, make that Uller. Okay, this time you want to hit R and Y, Y axis. And at our point one will be zero. And uh, 
we want to key it to rotation, go to the end. Uh, this time we want 34040, negative 34040, and we'll go over and key that rotation. All right, let's go to our graphics editor, see if we can find our little handle. Surrounds, oh, there it is. Okay, right click it, interpolation mode, linear. Let's go back to timeline, timeline, play it. Get the space bar to play it if you want. Anyway, looks good. Let's go back to the beginning. I'm going to go ahead and do the other three, to, and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Uh, yep, that's looking good. Let's sort of look at it. Everything's looking good. Fan blades going. Looking really good. Okay. Now, uh, let's go into render on our viewport. Looks like crap. And the reason is, we'll hit N on the keyboard. We'll bring this out. We'll go to render. It's an Eevee. Let's put it in cycles. That's what it looks like. That is what it's supposed to look like. Okay, let's go ahead and you, you can export it in any scene. It doesn't really matter. It'll all come out the same. Export TLB. Make sure you're in GTF TLB up there in the format. And just click on that. And this is going to be animated. Animated. I'm not a very good typist, so bear with me, folks. Oh, hit it. R. It needs to be an E. Backspace, backspace. E, D. Okay. And let's export it. Okay, it is exported. We'll bring our... There it is. And there it is. Animated. Let's double click that. Okay, we just got to our reality converter. A link down below if you need reality converter. And it's doing its thing. Just check it out. It's still going. It's a big file. I got a slow computer. Okay. There it is. Let's play it. That's looking really good. Cool. Anyway, that's what the end product. Let's go up to File, Export. It's the right name, going to the right place. So let's just save it. Close that up. We don't need it anymore. Now we got a USDZ file. Now that file can be used almost anywhere. Okay. Spacebar, get a little preview. And that's what it looks like. <clears throat> Not bad. Let's open it in preview. Wonder how long that's going to take. Here it is. Bring it out a little. Let's play it. Twirl it around. Looking good. Looking good. And that's about it, folks. See you later.